Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is an energy of recovering from the heartbreak, um, a pain here. There's this energy here of moving forward past some sort of, this could have been a third party situation or just something external to the situation where um, someone was very careless with your heart. But it's it's like you're moving forward from that, you're healing from that. So there's this energy of almost no longer feeling this pain as severely. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Gemini. So we have the Five of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy. Next, we have the Ten of Swords, Air Energy. And finally, we have the Queen of Cups, Water Energy. So there is this energy of uh, conflict that has happened here, an ending as well with the Ten of Swords. This does look like some sort of a breakup or betrayal, um, but it's definitely closing out a painful, um, you know, having some sort of painful ending to something. But with the, the Five of Swords being in the reverse, there's this energy of, um, you know, almost like reconciling or... Um, wanting to move forward with peace. So someone here could be ready to apologize or to make up. Um, with the Queen of Cups, we are seeing someone who's being vulnerable here, someone who is operating from the heart instead of the ego. Someone is ready to be vulnerable and to make amends, to almost help you heal or to heal with you. Um, there's this energy of wanting to show compassion and an energy of wanting to be um, kind-hearted in some way here. So I do see there is an opportunity here to um, to heal together. Um, with the Five of Swords being the reverse, it does show some sort of reconciliation. Um, this doesn't have to be reconciling us in getting back together, but this is almost like having another encounter with this person. But something about this encounter is going to bring healing or um, a sense of harmony or closure. So let's clarify these cards, Gemini. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So this is an energy of um, restoration in love. So someone here definitely does want to offer their cup. There is this energy even here of the potential for a new beginning in love. Someone may want to extend this to you, but I do see this person coming towards you from a place of peace. This is someone with um, genuine intentions. There's this heartfelt energy coming from them. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Gemini. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups in the reverse, Water Energy. Next, you have the Death card, Scorpio Energy. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio. 
And finally, we have the strength card, Leo energy. So you could be dealing with a Leo. So with the five of cups in the reverse, again, we're seeing an energy of wanting to leave something that's painful behind, wanting to focus on um, the potential of moving forward. Somebody here is definitely wanting to leave the conflict behind. They want to make up. Um, and again, there's this energy of wanting to apologize to you, wanting to extend something sincere, some sort of sincere, kind-hearted form of communication towards you. And with the death card there's again this energy of wanting to transform the situation to leave behind any betrayal or um pain that may have been caused and just move forward and to transform the situation altogether um so i do see this person um they care for you deeply and there's this energy of you having this person's heart forever there's just this enduring energy here as well with the strength card and um i do see this person being brave it's like this person is going to approach you humbly. Um, I do see some sort of another encounter with this person whereby they will be very um, apologetic and um, humble, um, kind-hearted as well. Um, this is someone who actually really treasures the bond they share with you. And I, I do see them wanting to make sure that it's resilient. They don't want to um, throw it away. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. So the card says the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. Okay, So this is someone who wants to leave behind the, the tough cycle. They want to close that chapter, that chapter of betrayal, backstabbing, it, um, whatever it was, the pain, the, the conflict. This is someone who wants to leave that in, in, in the past and move forward with you. But it's not from a place of almost like sweeping things under the rug. This is someone who wants to acknowledge what happened and heal together so that you guys can leave that in the past and move forward and almost make the connection or the bond with you more resilient. It's like an enduring energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Gemini. So the card says soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So this person could actually have this, hold the sentiments about you being their soulmate. There's this energy of them um, almost feeling disarmed. Um, there's this energy where their ego can't really have a say here. There's this energy of surrendering to this connection. Um, this person definitely with the strength card here as well, they could feel some sort of soul connection to you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, Gemini. The card says, devotion and dreams fulfilled. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So this is someone who wants to focus on the future. They want to create a future with you. This is definitely someone who the past has been painful and um, they want to use the, the past as a, a lesson to move forward. So I do see someone who doesn't want to leave you in the past and they don't want you to leave them in the past. They definitely want to move forward and heal together. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.